terrorists. Hold on. Here's Terra's Daily Rant. They killed more than 3,000 people 22 years ago. 22 years ago. And now we're like, oh, it's so hard, though. So hard. Uh, we might have to offer them plea deals. Hey, Dad. Weird. The 9-11 families never got a letter like that from Trump when he was president. Hmm. Must have been possible to not offer them plea deals back then for some reason. Well, it's just so hard, though. It's so hard. But this is not a serious country anymore. Our enemies are looking at this. They're dying laughing. Wait, wait, wait. You mean I can, I can kill like 3,000 of them Americans and um, I get one of these plea deals? I mean, I had to spend the rest of my life at Gitmo. But I mean, that place, like a four-star hotel. By the time the ATLU got done, it's like a four-star hotel. I'll take that deal. I'll take that deal all day long, says every terrorist on the face of the earth. Folks, we have so many terrorists. We have over 100 of them have been caught coming over the border now. I'm sure there are many more that weren't. They're watching this. They're already in the country. That's unbelievable. But here's the funny part. I mean, it, it'd be laugh out loud funny if you lived in another country and not this one. Who is the Biden administration able to pursue the death penalty against? Remember this? Donald Trump. And I don't know why our side hasn't paid more attention to this. Breitbart's the only one. Uh, that has gotten his story right. Headline, remember this? Jack Smith, Jack Smith's charges against Trump include potential death penalty. So let me get this straight. We just, can't we just tread so hard, but we can't, no, we can't kill these 9-11 terrorists. We just can't put them to death. No, I mean, it was only 3,000 people. No one misses them. It was like 22 years ago. But Trump, Trump, we can we can pursue the death penalty there. Boy, we can. And here's the thing. He literally could get it. Let me tell you why. 18 U.S.C. 241. Let me repeat that. 18 U.S.C. 241 is the statute to federal law. Conspiracy against rights. Trump has been indicted under this statute. And one of the penalties for, so if he is convicted by the liberals on the D.C. jury, and he will be, If he is convicted by the liberals on the D.C. jury, because what other way could it go? They voted 93, that jury pool voted 93% for Joe Biden. If he is convicted in the sentencing phase, one of the penalties is the death penalty. But how do you get it, though? What 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 is it? what, What is it? Why is it attached? Well, you get it if somebody died in the conspiracy against rights. It's just what the name of the statute is. Well, did anyone die? Yes, Ashley Babbitt did. And funny, Jack Smith, the prosecutor, emphasized that during the press conference about the charges. He emphasized that Ashley Babbitt died. And I thought that was weird. I was wondering why he did that. The left usually denies that or pretends it didn't happen. Why was he? Oh, he made a point to bring it up because of the fact that that would qualify Trump for the death penalty if uh, the jury, if the Democrat rigged kangaroo court jury were to find him guilty of 18 U.S.C. 241. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W.O.R.D. The voice of the Carolinas.